I was raised with the truth. I had the message there from the time I was born, and uh, there was no reason for me to walk away, and I did. So I did sway away from God. So when I was 18, I started like drifting off. Mom looked at me with tears in her eyes and said, you know, Susanna, what will I do in heaven without you? And that just like broke my heart. I actually came to a point where I didn't even believe God existed. And uh, I was still going to church every single Sabbath and uh, attending the services and trying to put on this face. All of a sudden I realized that, okay, you know, I'm, I pray, I say I'm a Christian, but if nobody can tell if I, you know, I'm going to these parties, if I'm dancing like that, if I, you know, am acting like everyone else around me, how does anybody know that I'm a Christian? She sat us to the side and she was like, what are you doing if it's not for the glory of God? That was the changing point in, in my life. It was at that point that I realized that God could use me um, to be a light for Him and to be able to witness in the community. It's such a blessing to see young people come of all the aisles fill up, all the way down, kneeling in front, just committing themselves to their Creator. Nothing can speak to your heart more than to see a, a, a army, a whole mass of young people committing their lives to Christ, saying, you know what, I want to be unashamed about Christ. I want to be unashamed about Him for the rest of my life. GYC, we're endeavoring it for it to be something more than just an event. It's an actual movement of young people moving throughout the year. It's exciting to see that, that God can use young people. And that's what GYC is all about, getting young people involved, getting them active in the work of God. Because the success of any movement is moving, our purpose is to proclaim the three angels' messages to all the world in this generation. Now we have, I mean, anywhere from like 10 to 15 projects of evangelism, mission trips overseas, we're doing cross training, we're doing, you know, different projects to help train young people in how to get Bible studies. So in that sense, you see the movement is really developing. We're actually moving and we're actually providing the rightly trained part of that army of youth that we believe God is raising up at this generation in order to finish the work. want to take attendees on a journey with us. We want to explore what it really means to, to say no turning back. What's it going to be like when you're at that point with your relationship with God? When you're at that point when you say, okay, ah, I've got it. This is where I want to go and there's no way, nothing could make me go back to where I've come from.